Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you are brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is diving into Swipes. Now Swipe, Swipes is a workspace application, more of a project management planning resource for teams and individuals as well to plan all of their activities and uh, sort of projects that they've got on. Uh, and I've been someone who has been following Swipes for quite a while. They've had quite an interesting story. What I quite like is that they've gone from this personal productivity focus more to a team productivity focus, which is quite nice. Um, and they've had some troubles on the way naturally with funding, but they have a really amazing story. Um, and what I quite like is they have documented this story in a really nice video. Um, so I'm going to be including that one in the description below if you want to learn more about that sort of uh, origin story startup thing. Now, uh, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is reviewing the latest piece of software, which is Swipes Workspace. So if you're looking as a team to take control of your planning or project management, then this could be a resource that could help you. Uh, that's something I'm going to be doing more in 2018. I'm going to be doing a segment probably once a week, maybe twice a week if I can squeeze it in, covering project management software because I think project management software really beneficial and I know a lot of you guys out there will thoroughly enjoy. So if you are not subscribed, it'd be great to have you. If you are subscribed, if you're not subscribed and you like are watching this for work purposes, I also do personal productivity applications and as, as I mentioned, I will be doing more of that. PM software. So uh, here is Swipes. Now Swipes is a really simple resource and what I quite like about Swipes is they've gone very basic with the whole entire design. Now it is available on a lot of devices, so it's available on iOS, Android, uh, Mac, Windows, uh, Web, and it's also available on Linux too, but I'll go into more details on the cross-platform uh, abilities at the end of this video. Um, as you can see I'm using it in the web browser today. And just a note before we start, you do need uh, a bigger browser than, uh, I think it's the minimum support size is 1000 by 600 pixels. If you go below that, you can see what appears, sort of like a warning. It's mainly because the experience itself cuts off, so that's just something to know. So as you can see here, I have uh, created an account, I created one last week actually, and the team have given me 30 days free. Uh, you get 14 days free on this, um, just to give you a note, but I'll give you full details of the pricing. So let's dive into the features. So as you can see here, when you get started, you have a onboarding experience that will literally go through the creating of the account, the personalizing, um, the sort of basics guide, and the basics guides and introduction videos are really helpful. They give you more context than probably I will. Um, so hopefully uh, they will be beneficial. And final is obviously to invite your team. This is more of a team management software, so just be aware of that. It won't be that amazing for a personal experience, uh, but will work great. Now on the left-hand side, you've got three core panels. You've got plan, you've got take action, and you've got discuss. They're sort of, I guess, the pillars that Swipes think, think that they are, uh, that, that rule the sort of project management space, which I kind of understand, the plan, the take action, and discuss. They're sort of the three core areas that you focus on. So plan is simply a location for your plans. Uh, you can create new plans here. Uh, they're essentially projects. And as you can see here, uh, I've got a few. On my current plans, I've got a uh, launch Go Skills course, which I'll go into detail. There's an example website update. What's quite nice here is you can see the progress of each project that's per task completion and goals without plans there. You've also got a separate tab here as well called Achieve, so you can see all of your Hall of Fames uh, and for completed items or ones that you may have archived. Um, so as you can see, create a plan here. So I'm just going to go into my Launch Go Skills course one and we're still in this plan section. So as you can imagine, this is getting the tasks ready for taking action, if that makes sense. So here you'll be able to plot lots of tasks out. Now, as you can see, it's really simple. Um, you've got uh, later, now, uh, done as well. So you can see all of those tasks and you can uh, you know, change the actual layout here. So as you can see, I've added a fair amount of them for now uh, and I can click into them and see the details there. Okay, so just a bit of clarity, you have goals here. So the goals are essentially like tasks. 
Uh, and what you can do is once you click inside one of these, you can add micro actions. Micro actions essentially help you to reach the goal, but help you to break down the goal in more detail. Over here, you've got the ability to assign it to another person. So I could assign it to the people on my team or just myself. And as you can see, my iconography comes up here. Within each of the micro, like the goals essentially, you've got the ability to discuss stuff, the ability to check notifications, the ability to add attachments as well, which is very helpful, especially when you're doing project management work. So just go to plan, back to the plan overview. I've got a host of goals here. I can also see my done. So let's just um, demo tick this one off. As you can see, this is a tick button here. And once I tick that, it's really nice. The animations in the background make it really uh, effective. And if I want to uh, send a bit of congratulations to the team or make an instant note about it, like, oh, I've done this task, um, you can actually assign it to the task itself. You can actually attach stuff or tag stuff. So for example, let's say I went, uh, woo, uh, completed the toughest task of the week, apparently. And I can post it. And essentially what happens is once I post that, it becomes part of that discussion. And from here, you can create any different notes. You can see other people's notes uh, and you can modify all of those details, which is really helpful. And you can even heart back and reply with attachments. And they've got all of the little eye buttons if you're getting used to this sort of stuff. So it's quite easy, quite simple to do. Um, and as you can imagine, that will appear in the done section, uh, which makes things whole, everything easier. Now, if you want to discuss the entire topic, uh, you can actually hit this one and discuss for that entire project comes up and you can see the related items, which was that mention of that post there. So as you can imagine, uh, quite an easy way to attach. And as you can see, if I just quickly jump out of that one, it still appears as a tab here, which is quite nice because you have that tab open. You can quickly switch between tabs. It's almost like having a micro web browser in some way, almost cards that you keep open. And once you're happy with that area, uh, you can see all of the details and stuff like that. You can go back to plan um, and that's essentially plan. Uh, there's an example here that they've created, uh, you know, uh, like later, uh, now done. You can see all of the items there. <clears throat> now, just a few more things inside here. As you can imagine, you can attach uh, a new note. You can attach a URL and upload a file. That's something I didn't clarify. But as you can see, if I click in here, you can create yourself a really lovely note with all of the checklist items and the details there. So if I clicked into this, uh, I could add uh, all of the formatting options, very similar to Evernote. Oh, very similar to Evernote and things like that. Uh, I can even expand it to make it a full page if I wanted to uh, fully go into detail on it. And I can even start a discussion on that too. There's also a link out as well, which you can rename and remove and, and the file uh, details as well. Now it's quite cool as well inside of a uh, plan overview or a specific task, you can save it as something called a way, which is almost a template. What's quite nice about the template as well is you have the ability to save it and load it. Uh, once you load a company way up, it basically creates a bunch of tasks. So if you have a set process uh, that you want to upload, you can do so. So uh, as you can see, uh, I'm going back to the plan section. That was a demonstration they had there. Uh, and it's quite easy to get started as well. And you can drag stuff between certain areas. So if I was like, okay, I'm gonna do stuff now or do stuff later, you can drag between those ones. So if I was like drag between now and uh, there, and it can even add a goal directly from here. So there are uh, benefits to being on this initial page. You don't have to go into the uh, real detail uh, on the other pages. So the next section was take action. And as you can see, take action is available on the left hand side. And this is really quite basic in a sense. Uh, you can see all of your responsibilities and most important tasks ripped into different projects and plans or plans, sorry. And you can start a uh, add any new goals uh, into the plan as well. And from here, you can access all of the details to the plan to assign different things to people and even delete any items as well. So it's fairly easy in terms of accessing stuff, but this area is literally more for getting things done than it is to uh, sort of fuss around. It's more of a like a clean panel to view all of your tasks that need to get done for the whole team. Now discuss is something that I mentioned earlier. 
Very similar to the different pages, if you weren't doing different pages, you can actually talk to the team directly from here and make a generalized post. Now you can't just make a post. You can do, uh, you can ask a question, you can make an announcement and share information, including videos and details like that. So if you want to ask a question, uh, it's a good way to do that. So I'm going to ask you a quick question. Uh, what do I have for lunch? Ooh. And uh, I'm going to tag employees. I'm going to tag the demo account that they created there. I'm going to post it. Let's see what that looks like. That looks like, uh, and as you can see, uh, it appears with this tag on the, the right hand side of that question. So you can see stuff in more detail and uh, you can heart uh, all of the details there. And it's just easier because like you can go, oh, purple, someone needs help or oh, post uh, or announcement. Oh, this looks exciting. <laughs> and it's a good way to find all the details there. So discuss is essentially a panel for you to communicate with your team members about uh, different things. It's a good way as well. You can link up to everything, create new notes and share them with the team just from here. Now, as you can see on the left-hand panel, uh, all you've got left is the searching. So if I were to search for something like design, it would search everything from comments all the way over to notes and details like that. So if I search for uh, website, uh, it can set projects and all the details there. So you can find anything at a glance uh, and that's quite easy. So just jumping onto the account, you can see your profile from here. You can add a role, bio, uh, and your email address as well. And you can even upload a new profile photo. You can add new team members and monitor the disabled accounts. You've got onboarding, so in case you lose it when you get started here, and you've got billing as well. So billing is quite uh, interesting actually. So from here, you've got $9 per user per month, uh, and that's billed monthly. Uh, so for example, if I was just to sit here, that's gonna be $9 a month here, and I can tally everything up here. But if I wanted to bill myself annually, or per person annually, if I had lots of different people, that's $72 annually, uh, which is a lot cheaper. And as you can imagine, a lot of the other tasks, um, sort of project managements are like $8 per month per user. And some of them offer it for like seven at a discount. Six is fairly reasonable. But again, I think this one has some flaws in some ways, mainly because it's, in a sense, it is a very stripped down version. I think what I recommend this more for is for those who are very design focused in their teams, uh, but like a very simple uh, to-do list or project management application that doesn't really go in way too much detail. I think that obviously this is a uh, like a growing platform, so it's going to be adding lots of different features, maybe the ability to add boards, maybe the ability to view calendar and things like that. But right now, I think it's a very slimmed down version of project management. I love the design. The design is absolutely fantastic. Everything uh, from the Mac app to the iOS app looks fantastic. And it does make you want to use it. Uh, an attractive uh, experience does help to like, you know, make work a little less, <laughs> if you've got a big task on it, a little less dreary, mainly because it just looks great and you want to interact with it. Um, so that's one of the real benefits. I think if you're looking for a very simple one to get started with, this could be a good monthly one to give a try. Uh, again, you're gonna have to see what your team thinks. I think they'll love it because of the design, but you just have to ask them what functions and features they need versus necessarily uh, want to look at. So make sure you ask that question. They also have it available on Link Linux, as I was mentioning, uh, Mac OS, Windows, Android, iOS, and the web. So they are available on a lot of different, 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 ugh, lot of different platforms, which some project management apps lack, which is a bit of a shame, but I do think they've done a great job at bringing this all to life. So guys, I hope this gave you a nice overview of some of the Swipes workspace features. I'm gonna include everything in the description below to find. If you have any questions or queries, pop them in the comments or drop me an email directly. Happy to answer them, especially if you're a team looking for project management software. I'm happy to recommend you a few. Um, and as I get started in the new year, uh, share a few videos that go into more detail on those applications. So guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today. Make sure you have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.